Okay, so we are back. Um, now we are inside the editor here. And first off, let me just do this here so that we can see properly. Um, first off, like there are some things that strikes me immediately, like uh, nitpicky things, I guess you could say, but like how you left tiles like this, you see how this one like kind of yachts out. It looks uh, visually jarring. I would definitely suggest you try and work out all of that um, here as well. It looks weird um, <clears throat> in my opinion. I think this looks cleaner, um, but yeah. Also, uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can uh, try and make it a little bit more uh, snazzy. I guess. <laughs> now this uh, got itself aft up again. <clears throat> so let's just do this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Like maybe something like this instead. Um, let's just see how it plays out. Um, this way, I feel like having the you know single tile you know um jeez <laughs> sorry having the single tile um uh steel beam just going past i think this you know having it a little bit thicker makes it look a little bit more appealing and you know this way the spine enemy you know since it is the first spine enemy now he can't attack the player as easily as it can before um we could make this even, you know, even easier, you know, by just extending this further and pulling the ladder uh, even further back. I did consider <coughs> having the ceiling go down a little bit here too, but yeah, then you bonk your head when you try to go over him there. <coughs> but yeah, aside from that, um, like in the beginning, you had the walls like this. Like you see how this is like a sharp, it's just sharply disconnected here it doesn't i don't know it just looks it doesn't look all that great in my opinion i think uh, it's it would be you know in my opinion i think it would be better to try and keep all the rounded edges of these box tiles here whatever you want to call them um you know present it looks a lot smoother than keeping it like this it looks unfinished i guess you could say <laughs> if that makes sense i'm just <laughs> <laughs> coming up with my own words here <clears throat> and yeah I also changed uh, the spine enemy here to a yellow uh, or the pink color I, I figure you use the blue one since you know you wanted to make them easier to distinguish from uh, you know from the background and all of that but to be honest I don't I don't really think that's needed uh, I think these guys fit in better, but you know, that's that's your call, eh? you know, that's definitely just how I see, uh, how I look at it. Um, so yeah, I will <clears throat> also try and redo this uh, room. Let me just uh, edit this out and I'll be back in a sec. All right, so <clears throat> I done some more uh, revisions. Um, I, like, I don't know how you feel about this, but like, since this is the very first uh, enemy or spine enemy in the stage, uh, I decided to add <clears throat> this additional platform here. This makes it even easier, you know, for the player to avoid the first one and, you know, just get familiar with it. And I also think it looks kind of nice having more platforms around, um, you know, you, you gotta try and use as much of a space of each room as possible, you know, to make it all feel uh, nice and yeah. So it seems well thought out, I guess you could say. And, you know, this room I changed up quite heavily as well. Um, here we have two spines now, and you know they are much tougher to deal with, but they are still on a four tile um, wide platform here. So you know you can definitely easily get past them. And you know I put this box here. You know here is a safe spot, so you know that you can prepare for the second one, and you know just go on. So I feel like <clears throat> that this plays out a lot better than your previous setup. Um, and yeah, like. It is important uh, to also try and use some more tiles. I mean, we only have uh, this yellow here. Um, it doesn't have to be a lot, but you know, mixing in a few, you know, de decorative tiles everywhere, uh, you know, is definitely a thing to look into. Um, 
so yeah um what i have done here basically uh, you know yeah I, I raised these long you know iron beams and i just built this out uh changed the spine enemies to pink <laughs> i guess you could say i made this one a little bit easier by adding the secondary platform here um, some decorative boxes. I would not suggest like adding boxes on the first tile of your level of the first screen because as you can see they are just invisible while you're uh, Coming in the same at you know the same happens at checkpoint uh, in checkpoint rooms uh, Another pet pee about yeah, I I don't know. I don't like spawning in with boxes um, But yeah, I think something like that and you know try and make the Try and make the player jump more and, you know, have more interesting layouts to progress through. Uh, I feel like, you know, the same thing goes with the Yoki block segment here that you have built. They are very basic, <laughs> uh, if I may put it blunt. Um, it's very basic and a little bit too stale, I would say. Um, yeah, here we have this room. Um, and this. Yeah, like... Same here, like, you see how you have used the tiles here, it looks very clunky, and you know, these sharp edges, I would definitely uh, change this up big time. But yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, yeah I, I will... Uh, I don't know how many rooms I should rebuild. <laughs> or, you know, try and come with suggestions to, like, like, you know, same here, like, try and... Try and make sure that you have these smooth edges, I think, you know, it's personal preference but I think this looks a lot better than you know just leaving this cut off like this it doesn't look very yeah I don't know I don't like <laughs> I don't like the look of it <laughs> it might just be me but yeah anyway I'll I'll do I'll do this room to try and see if we can speed this up a little bit so yeah see you in a sec all right so here we are um I got in a little bit down here um Basically, as you can see, I've smoothed out the walls here. I extended this uh, this one here out one tile further, and you know, I went I, I went ahead and you know linked this pillar, I guess you could say, with this room here. Once again, I don't want to put that in there. To me, this looks it hurts the visual more than it helps, and that doesn't really work either. Neither does that. Um, like, I guess if we really wanted to do something, you know, I guess. That doesn't really look cohesive either. Uh, I would probably just leave it like this. Like, <clears throat> to get a an appealing or a visually appealing level, you have to sit and spend so many hours. Like, um, like Tremic One, for example. Like, I can't even imagine how many, you know, how much time he spends on visuals. I mean, I spend a lot of time myself. I sit and rebuild a room over and 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 over again <laughs> until I have, you know the visuals that I wanted to have um, like yeah you really have to be picky uh, that's really all I can say about it you have to be picky you have to sit there and yeah have no life you know have no life like me and <laughs> just sit around and build and yeah but <clears throat> either way I think this looks a little bit better than the original um, one thing I'm not sure about though like I know that the original Mega Man 1 stage only had spine enemies. It only had, you know, these things, whatever they are called, and the electraps. traps. Um, but I don't know, like, does the rules uh, for the contest say, you know, I, I'm pretty sure you have to use enemies from the original stage, but would it be possible to add other Mega Man 1 enemies, you know, to, just to spice it up? Like, because if you could, I feel like it would be nice to maybe have, you know, some Octo batteries perhaps going around here like remove that dude yeah like like maybe we could introduce the octo batteries in here um, hmm. yeah I don't know maybe don't have two there <clears throat> but well I don't know <laughs> no yeah see like Stupid edge part. <clears throat> Just gotta hate it. Gotta hate it. And my throat is really bad. <clears throat> but yeah, like, it could be nice if we had some more different enemies throughout the stage. At least one more type. Like, for example, the Octo batteries here could have been cool. 
heck maybe even the beaks or you know the screw bombers in conjunction with the spine i feel like enemy <clears throat> the enemies are a little bit flat um but yeah <clears throat> i don't know it in my opinion if if the countless creators allowed it i would probably t uh, add yet another um enemy type here if not i mean we could just <laughs> put more spines here and we maybe we could have Maybe we could have, <clears throat> you know, electric beam traps um, hidden around here. Maybe we could do that. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know. Like, try and use the enemies together. Um, so, I don't know. This might be a little bit... Well, I don't know. That kind of works. Um, but, yeah. See here, like another thing, if we have one here, it looks all ugly, so that's out of the question. Um, adding one here, like, this is another thing that's a pet peeve of mine. Like, see now how, when this guy shoots lightning out, how it stops here, it, I think it looks ugly. I, I prefer it if it stops just before another tile. That uh, looks best, in my opinion. But, you know, maybe add in more enemies in conjunction. Uh, maybe add the octo batteries in here instead and you know introduce them in this room and you know spread out more octo batteries throughout the level from there on um, could have been a nice idea um, but yeah let us see let us see see you in a sec <laughs> oh <clears throat> all right so i have been doing a little bit here not very much but yeah i'm i'm having a yeah i'm <laughs> I was starting a little bit here, but then I went ahead and <laughs> built a little bit more here on this one. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, right now it does look a little bit cluttered, I guess. But yeah, something like this as well, like, see now, previously how the Octoberries could get me when I fell off the ladders. Now that's not an issue anymore. Um, now the players can truly, you know, just uh, very easily predict the pattern of these guys. This guy you cannot shoot over here because, you know, the ceiling... Oh, right, no, 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 you can't shoot it because you can just go through there. <laughs> but that's fine, you know, uh, it's fine. Uh, you don't necessarily need to restrict players from being able to kill everything. But yeah, like this, I feel like you say, at least a decent um, room layout. It does feel a little bit cramped in my opinion, but yeah. For what I, you know, I only spent like five minutes or whatever, so... <laughs> Uh, you know, definitely, if, if you can definitely expand uh, on this a, a lot. Uh, but yeah, um, let's see here. For this room, I, yeah, as you can see, I made this uh, flooring a little bit thicker here. I think that looks better, uh, just in my own opinion. Um, let us try and use this and maybe that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. To be honest, I'm quite stumped here. Like. I've been sitting and trying to rebuild it <clears throat> for a few minutes now, but I can't really come up with anything too creative. This is probably the best I could do, you know, within a few minutes. Um, but like, what? <laughs> what I do not like about this room is how you know we have all this empty space here. Like, this room probably needs to, you know, just be scrapped altogether. You know, just exit out and use <laughs> the whole room. I don't know, like it. It looks, it looks to me like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, it's so tough. To me it looks like, it, like it's so hard to put words on it. I feel like, I feel like we, we, only, we are only using a, a tiny, uh, <laughs> you know, we are only using half the room here, I think. You should try and use every room to the maximum capacity, you know, have the players go around, loop around as much as possible until they reach the end of it. Um, here it's, uh, you know, we just go here, jump up, and here, and, you know, uh, it's very quick, like, the way I built this, for example, and you come down here, here, there, I mean, you know, you, s you go around more, um, whereas, uh, you know, as it was, like, down here, like, this is the first room, so this is very, you know, it's not 
I guess it's not all that bad, but you know, it's it's just you know left left up. It's very very simple movement here. It is a little bit more, um, but here you know it's just a straight climb. Nothing too much going on. It's it's a little bit stale. I would try, you know, even though this is a, you know a trope of Mega Man One, um, I would still try and expand a little bit on this. Maybe you know Mega Man has to drop the ladder at some point, you know. Drop from the ladder, you know, land on another platform. And, you know, jump up to another one. And, you know, the ladder continues over there while these guys come down. And, you know, just have a smooth scroll transition or something, you know, while you're climbing up. Um, and maybe, you know, there could be enemies on these platforms too, you know, spying enemies or whatever. Um, but, yeah, like, try and, try and add more things. And, yeah, you know, once again, the wall here is... Yeah, this should probably look something like to me. This looks better. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm making much sense here. I, I'm hoping I'm giving you some ideas of how you could build. Like mainly, what I think you know, I'm just so critical here because you know, uh, <laughs> the stage is to be submitted for a contest, and if you want to, if you really want to win, uh, you know, I'm just saying you're you're definitely gonna have to. You're definitely gonna have to rebuild um, a lot of this, um, especially in the first segment. It is, there are a lot of uh, uh, kind of stale rooms, uh, to be quite honest, and you know, so many rooms, you know, looks kind of weird like this one here. I think it's slightly better now than before, but like, it feels so empty. <laughs> I mean, I, f I feel like this needs to be redone. These Yoko block puzzles needs to be redone, um, all of them probably. Um, yeah, same here, like, yeah, it needs to be reworked. <laughs> a lot of things here needs to be reworked, um, if you want to have a shot at winning the whole uh, contest. Um, I would say that this stage, you know, it, uh, it is better than, probably, than a lot of other stages that will be submitted for the contest, but, you know, once again, um, I don't... I don't think that it has what it takes to clench the number one spot. Like all the Yoko block puzzles are fairly standard and you know quite a little bit plain. They are too plain. Um, uh, no real interesting movement with them. It's very basic and you know the room is barely used. It's just a big empty, big empty box, big empty box. Uh, here it starts to get a little bit, little bit more interesting. You know more visually appealing. I definitely like your outdoor section here, you know, many, many more time, many, many times more than your indoor section. The indoor section mainly needs uh, a lot of work here. Um, yeah, like here, like perfect example. Um, maybe, maybe. Yeah, and you know, here we have this too. Hey, maybe let's put yet another platform, let's say, you know, here, have the electrap trap, defend here, while these guys come down, you know, make, make more movement, basically, and, you know, uh, try and, try and make it more interesting to move through your level. Yeah. Yeah, this became a lot harder all of a sudden. <laughs> Having it like this. But yeah, like you have to dodge this guy. Maybe even delay this guy up to four seconds. So you know, let's see here. The player comes in. Okay, he waits for the electric trap. Yeah, no. Probably even an uh, additional two seconds there. And also we could do, do a three on that one. And let us start down here. And so the player climbs up, you know, sees this, you know, probably watches that a little bit. Then this guy comes down, you have to shoot him, move on. I think that works pretty well, uh, for example. Um, that feels better, I think, than the previous uh, room there. 
a little bit more interesting, a little bit more engaging. But yeah, yeah, I don't know if you agree with me, but that's how I, you know, that's just my thought process there. Um, and as I already said, this outdoor section is a lot better than the indoors one. <clears throat> I mean, sure, you could try and come up uh, with new tiles to use here as well. Um, I don't know exactly what those ties would be. Those ties that I just came up with here doesn't really fit, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, this probably should be smoothing out here. Mm, it's hard to say. Something like that, perhaps. And this is kind of reminiscent of, you know, Mega Man Man, Melek Man, you know, with those uh, screen where you jump from block to block, I recognize <laughs> this as well. Uh, but yeah, you know, once again, the second segment here definitely feels a lot better and more well thought out than the first one. But yeah, I would definitely suggest that you add perhaps if, if it's allowed, if it doesn't get you disqualified, I would suggest adding one more enemy type like the auto ba Octo Batteries. Uh, I would say you need to work on the Yoki block puzzles, try and come up with more um, creative and fun ways to move with them. <clears throat> and yeah, like maybe there could be enemies, you know, here, Octo batteries, you know, or maybe you could jump on Yoko blocks, you know, let's just say, okay, you jump on this, you jump on this, remove that, and <clears throat> I'm sorry about all the freaking coughing. I'm super bad in my throat right now. And you know, so, okay, but now this is going to be in the way. How oh, that's it. This Yoku block, and then finally over here, so, you know, Bush Bush uh, up here, and heck, maybe even add this guy here. Maybe even, you know, once again. <laughs> do this wall here um, yeah this this isn't very interesting either is the problem this needs to be extended so you can't cheese it try and show something here and just add freaking ladder there and now yeah, see, we're still going to bonk our heads here. <clears throat> Maybe it's best to do that instead. Two, three. So yeah, let's just see how this plays out now. <clears throat> the room still looks very empty, but you know, we move here, shoot him, try and go. Maybe, maybe it would be nice to do something like that so that it would be easier to pull off. But you know, just, yeah, just try and sit down and and really have at it, you know, you need to, if you want to win, especially if Tremic 1 is entering the the challenge here, like, you're definitely gonna need to, you know, spice up the Yoko block challenge, yes, I think this is a lot better than the previous one, but this one sucks, uh, in my opinion, <laughs> this one isn't all that great, but I feel like, in comparison to the previous one, it's miles better, um, you might disagree, and I know I'm harsh with the words, but you know, I'm just saying, uh, I think y you really need to work on layout of the rooms, you need to work on the visual appeal, you need to work on the enemy placement in this first segment, because it is, it is rather tame. And you know, as I said many times, this outdoor segment I quite like, you know, sure it could be improved upon, but it's... You know, it feels like Mega Man 1 playing through this, and heck, even the freaking final segment here, I thought you did better than the original Mega Man 1 game, so yeah. Uh, that's definitely on the plus side to your stage here. Um, but yeah, I think I will just leave it at that. Um, if you want to, feel free to, you know, you know, just straight up copy this if you want to. Um, uh, hopefully, no, <laughs> I don't know uh, if judges would be uh, upset about that, but you know... <laughs> Maybe you don't need to copy this straight off, but you know, at least you can use 
if you if you like what I did here, you can use it as guidelines. And you know, obviously, there is no one prohibiting you from using the same tiles that I use. That's just stupid. Nobody can do that. So like, if you feel like if you feel like you like uh, these tiles that I added here, the boxes, you know, go ahead and you know just use them yourself. You know, uh, definitely, you know, just try and spiff up spiff up your stage. But yeah, I will just <laughs> leave it at that, beam. And hopefully, this has been helpful. Um, hopefully, hopefully I haven't been too harsh. Um, you know, you ask me for help uh, or help you ask for a review. And since this is for a contest, I really, really ought to be as merciless, I guess, as possible. As I said, if Tremic One is entering, I mean, you can look up. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, I believe Dr. Lumen, Dr. Lumen. We just go into YouTube here now while I'm having you there in the background. Um, yeah, Redwood Redux Mega Man Maker. I'll I'll link it to you uh, if you haven't seen it. Tremic One has entered the contest with a stage called Redwood Redux, and it looks freaking effing awesome. Like even the changes that I made here, they would not stand a chance against Tremic. <laughs> they would not stand a chance against against Tremic stage. Uh, like you're going to need to up the quality of your stage, you know, the visuals, the layout, you know, there is so much. <laughs> if you want to clench the first place, you're going to have to work your ass off uh, for the next few days. I don't know how, when the deadline is, but you know, you're going to have to sit and, you know, just work many hours each day if you want to be able to beat Tremic one. And, you know, if you just, yeah, I don't know. I suggest you look up Redwood Redux. Uh, I will probably, um, well, I can't really include a link or anything in the video. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. But yeah, you can look it up on YouTube yourself. Redwood, Re Redwood Redux Mega Man Maker posted on Dr. Lumen's YouTube channel. Um, you can check out Tremic One stage there and see what I believe could potentially be the contest winner. Uh, yeah. That's all I had to say. So yeah, I will just leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching and have a nice day. And good luck with the contest. Good luck.